Assalamu alaikum everyone and I believe everybody is doing great. So here I am back in the rainy season. We people crave for more, right? We people have a lot of cravings and here I am presenting a very special combo that everybody will prefer in the rainy season, especially Carolites plus a snack, a very common snack in the rainy season and also a great uh, ghee rice outing. I would definitely say like that. So do stay tuned for our vlog. This is a very interesting vlog, I hope. And guys, if you haven't subscribed our channel, please do consider like, share and subscribe and hit the bell icon so that any new notifications from our end will be updated to you soon. So stay tuned and this is me for Zana. So it's a great rain outside and I feel eating good here. So what we are planning today, let me show you. Okay, I'm sharing a very uh, clear great curry porota recipe with beef we are preparing curry porota with beef so i have taken all purpose flour 1 kilo and uh, enough amount of salt plus 1 tablespoon of sugar plus uh, 2 teaspoons of baking powder this much ingredients then we need 2 eggs and 1 cup of milk for adding a uh, milk just give a good mix every ingredient I'm adding one cup of milk to the batter give a good mix after adding milk and after this you can add a uh, little by little water uh, so that we get a good consistency uh, it's not like the perfect wheat batter wheat dough you make we have to prepare a little bit loose consistency than the wheat, wheat dough so that way we have to do it So we have to uh, set aside for one hour. So as you can see the batter consistency loosener should be little bit more than the wheat dough that we prepare. Sorry not batter dough it is and keep it for one hour. We have made balls out after one hour. So as you can see this is a big ball here. As you can see here we can make two uh, doughs from this. I will make two parathas from this one. So what this next step is we have to drizzle oil on top of it. So that all parotas are in exact connection with the oil. Balls are in exact contact with the oil. So here we have to add a little bit enough amount of oil here. And no worries we will be using this oil at the end while preparing parotas. After this we are going to uh, close this one and let it set for around 15 minutes in this oil. So what is my plan is to prepare some curry porotas and some porotas I will be using with the beef curry. So plain parathas and some will go as chilies. So at the end adding little more toy. We have to add enough amount of oil. So I have prepared uh, some balls to parathas and then we had it for dinner and for tomorrow morning uh, afternoon uh, I am going to prepare these balls as kiri for kiri paratha. So that what I am going to do I am taking each ball I am going to make it smaller because we have a smaller uh, round this plate plate so that we can make it smaller so that i can 
give a good roll with the smaller parottas otherwise it will be not perfect so this one i'm going to make it two and in turn uh, i will be preparing four in from these parottas so give a good press here as you can see press it longer so when you rest it for longer time uh, this won't break otherwise you will have as you can see here when it goes more thin it will have a tendency to break here so we have to rest it for one hour minimum and give a good slit here into two so in each bowl i am preparing two parottas so here as you can see what i am going to do is i am going to spread some Spread some all-purpose flour on top, and just take like this. You have to stretch it so long. And then give a good roll here, as you can see. The same way with this also we can do. so normal way you can prepare the parottas as usual and spread some oil spread some oil here and you can uh, cook well and on each side you have to spread oil when it is dry so that way we can prepare our parottas so here as you can see here uh, it has to be well cooked parottas has to be well cooked on each side so to make our skiri i am preparing a very special beef recipe here so for that i have taken one onion and we need half kg of beef so this half kg of beef i have cooked for just uh, 15 minutes and kept it here so that yesterday uh, i couldn't uh, like complete this curry preparation so for preserving this beef i have kept it in the refrigerator after little bit of cooking so here what i have done is i have added turmeric powder and uh, little water and then i have pressure cooked sorry not pressure cooked just for around 10 15 minutes so what you can do is you can take half kg beef, one onion, finely chopped. Turmeric powder I have added yesterday itself. Uh, so here the beef is not uh, fully cooked. So that's why I'm going to pressure cook again. So I'm going to add enough amount of salt and then pressure cook it for around 5 whistles here. Add little water and pressure cook. In one teaspoon of garam masala as well. So as you can see, it is not fully cooked yesterday. I just uh, kept just cooked yesterday because I have to keep it in the refrigerator. 
so I am first cooking for five whistles. Yesterday I just cooked for fifteen minutes. So this one is a special uh, beef recipe for kiri porota kiris that we are preparing. So this beef masala is very special. And also, uh, let me tell you, we if you are having cooked beef before, uh, like uh, the day before or so, what you can do is you can take half kg beef plus onion plus turmeric powder and plus garam masala and enough amount of salt with uh, one cup of water you can pressure cook it for five to six whistles immediately so here uh, meanwhile i am preparing a special masala here so here i am adding one tablespoon peppercorns one teaspoon fennel seeds give a good mix So after a slight roast, add coriander powder, two tablespoons. And one tablespoon of red chili powder. Give a good mix. So we, we have to know we should not over roast this one. Uh, but, but a good roast should be there. Slight roast should be there. So for our masala preparation we need uh, 7 garlic pots and a small piece of ginger finely chopped and 1 green chilli. With this uh, I am heating a pot and then add enough amount of oil here. I have added 2 tablespoons of oil. To this add the garlic pots. green chili and the ginger chopped one with enough amount of curry leaves powder the masala that we have prepared and add it to the So I have prepared masala according to half kg beef. So you can add everything, every masala that we have prepared. Add the cooked beef to our So to prepare curry, uh, when we prepare it with our uh, banana leaf, it's very tasty and the special ingredient is our onion that we are going to add. So I have heated the banana leaf and I am preparing uh, curry now for that I am placing the porota. So what we can do is place one porota and on top of it we have to layer the beef. On the top of the porota, I am going to place the beef, <laughs> then add onions, then again place a, two porotas again. So this is our uh, final look of our curry. So I have already prepared one curry for Aisha and now I am preparing the second one. I will show you one second.
so you can tie it here or you can uh, I'm going to keep the search for Alia because it will be difficult for her to open from the school for lunch so you can tie it one knot here wrap it and then tie it off and then we are going to cook it for around uh, 30 oh, sorry one minute in sim flame we have to cook it with little oil in the pan so I have added little oil and then placed it on the top just cook for one minute or as you can search wrap it to wrap it and then keep it for around three to four hours after that time uh, it will be like it will be soft the porta will be soft and the texture will be exactly the same of that of kiri porota Today I am going to uh, share you a simple Ulli Vada, recipe, Ulli Vada recipe. So this Ulli Vada is uh, a traditional recipe of Kerala from India. So this is normally seen in uh, Tattukada or Chayakadas that is tea shops. And nowadays we see people uh, preparing this Ulli Vada as a tea snack. And I am going to share you this recipe. It's very easy to prepare so that I had taken three onions. And then we need a uh, green chilies uh, two I have taken for spiciness and ginger plus curry leaves so this is the first part of preparing Ulibada this is a very easy snack that you can go ahead preparing uh, when you feel uh, that you are craving for something in the rainy season especially I have chopped the green chilies and I have chopped the ginger also this one you have to take one medium piece for three onions I have taken and the curry leaves also I have chopped into very fine leaves here and add enough amount of salt add enough amount of salt so don't overdo salt while preparing this oily snack so that we can't do anything after we start preparing so just add little bit salt and check it and then give a good mix here after mixing it well we have to add the all purpose flour and the chickpea flour that is katla mavu and so now we are ready to add those two flows into this i am adding all purpose flour here so we are not going to add any water don't add water for this special snack this is a different kind of snack from kerala and with this i am going to add all purpose flour so we are not going to add any water while mixing we are just uh, taking out the water that it has used out from the onions Adding 4 tablespoons of all purpose flour. Give a good mix. So, as you can see, this is becoming balls now itself, so no need to add water. And with three onions, we are going to prepare our snack. Isn't it easy? So if you are craving for any snack items, do try this one. And I will show you after preparation how the texture it looks. Give a good mix. Let me pause for the pause the video for the moment, so that I can give a good mix with my 
guys. This way you have to make balls. So as you can see here, give a press and gently drop into the heated oil. So once done on one side, as you can see here, flip it over the other slowly. This onion vada has got uh, onions standing high it's more onions than the flow so that's the special one here so when crunching onions it's so tasty so do try this one and uh, i know most of them know this recipe and if you know, if you haven't tried it any of you do try this one and share your valuable comments So next day we have been to lunch to a spot in Ernakulam. So this uh, spot is located in Pipeline Road, Padivattam exactly speaking. So here um, they just have limited dishes and the food spot name is Hamsa's Nature Place. So here they serve ghee rice plus chicken fry, chicken curry, beef roast and salad. So that's it plus a, a pickle and papadam. So that was their menu. So that's their menu. They have limited dishes and the best part was like uh, the rice will be served unlimitedly. was compensated with the beef roast it seems they just serve limited quantity in beef roast so that was a uh, very interesting cute little vlog it's not little it's little big vlog for the day i hope everybody have enjoyed watching our vlog and if so give a good good thumbs up and share it with your friends and family if you have thought this vlog is useful to you and for others inshallah we will see in the next vlog and guys, if you haven't subscribed our channel, please do consider like, share and subscribe and hit the bell icon so that any new notifications from our end will be updated to you soon. So please try our recipes and we will be back with very interesting, very useful contents in the next vlog. Till then, bye bye. Assalamu alaikum. Take care.